right here there's a little cover that will hide two mounting screws. So with a pick or whatever you might have, go ahead and pop this up. Just like that. T20 screws, remove both. Right here by the door handle, you'll see another little cap. Pop this out as well. And another T20 bolt or screw. Remove this one as well. Set that aside. At the top right here, there's this corner piece that you can just remove. Now the plastic trim tool, I'm gonna sneak the tool behind here and just pop the clips off of the door panel. Those are pretty stiff. There we go. All right, now you can lift this up, take it off the door. You'll see that the um, door handle is connected with a cable here. Unhook the cable, slide it through. And then we have some wiring to disconnect here. Disconnect the three, there are three connectors in total. Okay, door panel's free. Unplug the mirror connector. Now I'm gonna go all around on this panel and remove all the 10 millimeter bolts that are holding it onto the door. Okay, now before you pull this away, let's start unbolting the regulator from this panel. It's got some T30 Torx bolts all around. Now it's time to unplug and unbolt the motor. Unlock this connector. Disconnect the motor. T30 Torx bit. Take this off. Right over here, open up this and let's unlock the cable. Right behind this area, there is a plate, plastic piece, and that needs to slide up. That's what's gonna release this panel from that little plastic plate there. There we go. All right, so now we have this lock rod here. You can just unscrew the top and then you can pull the rod through. Unhook this wire from here. And at this point, you can finish pulling this rod through. Set this down, Un unplug the latch, and this will allow you to take this panel. There you go, and swing it to the side to where it's out of your way. Now, on each uh, window regulator track. There's two of them. You'll see this tab here with the white piece. So basically this hook is what holds your window on and we have to press this back and then push the window up to unlock it. So you can do this multiple ways. You can press this in with a screwdriver um, or you can take a trim tool and pry this back from the back side. So I'm using a plastic trim tool. Okay, push the window up, there we go. So basically, put the um, plastic trim tool here, pried back on this, and push the window up. Let's do the same to the front side. This one's gonna be a little bit easier just because you have more room, but keep in mind the window is loose at this point. All right, at this point, I like to take the uh, glass right out, which you can easily do by just tilting it and very carefully set it into a safe location. Now you can take your regulator and remove it. Take the new regulator and slide it into the door. Just like this. And then we'll grab the window. Slide the window back down. Let's slide the window back down. Line it up with the uh, anchor points here. Start by anchoring this one in. 
There we go. I'll give you a closer look on this one as to what I'm doing. Find the uh, mounting hole. Make sure it's positioned properly. There we go. All right, it's time to take this panel here and reinstall it so that we can actually bolt up the motor to the regulator and make everything stay. Um, so I have some wiring that needs to go to the door latch. Reconnect that. And I know it's dangling here. I actually took it off of the door panel. Um, but I did that just so I can set it to the side. I'm gonna bolt it back up. I'm gonna reattach it in a minute. Make sure that this rod goes through the mounting hole. Just like that and had this little foam insulation piece. Just shove that back down into the hole. All right, let's mount this panel, make sure no wires are getting pinched. Let's go ahead and bolt it up with a couple bolts. That way it at least stays in place. I'm just gonna put one bolt on each side, just in case I have to remove it and move things around. And then I can put more bolts in as we go. All right, so this is held in place. Let's route this wire where it belongs. Don't forget about your um, cable if you accidentally forgot it. Reroute the rest of this harness. Again, you don't have to take this all off. I did just so I can pull my door panel to the side a little bit more than uh, what the harness allowed me to begin with. So we're left with these wires. This is gonna go to the window motor. At this point, let's bolt up the regulator to this panel. The way I'm gonna do that is, now that everything is secure, I'm just gonna loosen up the top a little bit, or take the bolt out, that way I can um, give it a little slack, a little slack on the sides. This is gonna allow me to pull this back and see what's going on. And now I can position the regulator arms where they need to go. Okay, so I can see the bolt holes, it needs to go up. There we go. I see one bolt hole in there, that lines up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a bolt in. Try to line it up as straight as possible and make sure you don't cross thread this. All right, so that one's in. I see that this bolt hole lines up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and install that bolt. Perfect. And the two bottoms line up automatically. Okay, that's snug. All right, so those are all tight. The window is secured to this panel. Let's re-secure the panel. Now we can take the new motor, line it up with the splines, and if the splines don't line up, just move the window up or down. And then you should have these screws that mount the motor onto the regulator. I'm not tightening them yet, I'm just running them down a little bit. The challenging part here is lining up those splines on the motor. Oh, that just fell in, I think, yep. Okay, that's in, that's in, that's in. Okay, this motor is secure. Go ahead and plug it in. Lock it, and I think it's time to give it a test. Now I'm gonna grab my door panel again and just plug in the uh, window switches so I can test the window motor. All right, let's see what this does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that works perfect. Nice and smooth, no issues. Of course, I'm gonna clean up the window and then uh, we can get ready to reinstall everything. Plug in the mirror again, put this cover back on, make sure it's pressed in and secured. Now let's get the door panel on. And now we can put the rest of the screws in to secure this panel. Perfect, let's get the door panel on. Now you wanna take your door panel, I'm gonna put the cable through first, attach this to the door handle, 
and then pull it through the slot here. Just like that. Don't forget about this little lock that holds it together. It's got the window switch connectors back in. As well as the mirror switch. Go ahead and thread this back on. It should be good right there. Take the door panel, line it up with the lock indicator here. Once all the push clips are lined up, press it on. There was a screw in here. Close up the little door. Two screws down here. Close up this door and put this back.